If you have kids, this is one of the best things you can do for their financial future, part three. Now, if you haven't seen the original video or part two, please check the captions below or go look, it's pinned um, at the top of my page, but um, go watch those. Otherwise, this is probably gonna be really confusing for you. And as mentioned before, I am not your accountant. I am not your lawyer. I am not your advisor. I'm not a advisor. I am here for community. I am here for service. I am here for education. Um, I'm here to share my experience with you, my opinions, um, the research that I have done. So um, you need to go do your own due diligence, but I am happy to share what I know and what I've learned. Um, but keep in mind that there are my opinions and they are um, applicable to my situation. Okay, so where we left off is, can you hire your kids? Is it legal? And the answer is, yes, it is. But there are restrictions at certain age groups um, and there is um, limited like hours and there's a lot of regulation around this. Um, and uh, in BC where I am, th uh, there's employment standards that you have to adhere to. And just because they're kids doesn't mean that you can pay them whatever. There's the minimum wage still applies. Um, but yes, you can, but there are different regulations at different age groups. Next biggest question is, do you need to be self-employed? Do you need to have a business? Yes, you do. You do need to be either self-employed or incorporated, run a family business. There, there has to be an actual business here, okay? Okay, so you already have a job. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't, but this sounds really interesting to you. Can you be employed and can you be self-employed at the same time? Yes, you can. But here's the kicker. You can't just pay your kids for chores around the house. They have to actually be business activities. Employment income is not packing the dishwasher and doing the laundry, okay? 80s and 90s, long gone, things have changed. Um, you have to actually have justifiable employment. Now, I know many of you run your households like a business, but unfortunately that doesn't count. So the thing is, the type of work really matters, especially if your kids are younger than 16. Um, and there are definitely uh, lots of restrictions between 13 and 15. And if kids are 12 or younger, that's where it gets really restrictive. Um, but there are things that they can do. Typically, most of the work that they can do um, has to be light work. And um, light work is defined by the employment standards. So you can go check that out on their website, um, but they really care about that. Now, what does the CRA care about? So glad you asked. The CRA is really going to care if you're, if the business isn't legit and the work isn't legit and you're going to have to prove it. So you have to make sure that these are legitimate um, tasks and that they're within the standards. God damn it. There has to be a part four now.